Welcome my friends, this is Ramesha Maher and we are watching React Redux series. This is a part fifth of this series and in this part let's see what we are going to do. In this part we are going to see how we can get and dispatch data using hooks. So we are going to modify the same code that we created in the previous part. So if you don't saw the previous part then please watch the previous part first because I'm going to modify that part only, uh, that code only to make, make it with the help of hooks. So if you want to see the working, how the, how there is a practical working of getting and dispatching data, then you can see the previous video first, then come to this video. So now without wasting any time, let's start it. So this thing we created previously here and see that here this is our react dev tool extension and this is state here. So first of all, I'm going to reload it. So, so that our actions and everything are cleaned here. So see that now difference is coming nothing and here this is state and is logged in false user is false and token is false as we are having only one reducer so that's why we are having only one states and this state is in object here and it has two kings uh, things first is is logged in user and token token is no of no use just for the realistic thing i added token here so now let's see how it is working so see that when I will click here login. So whenever we click login here, now see that here one action will dispatch. So that is set user. So it is matching the action in our reducer and then it is adding our data and see that what is the difference of the data. Firstly is logged in was false. Now it is true after the action and then user is equals to null. Now it is my name Ravan Sharma. And then token was null. Now it is and specific token. So and see that we are seeing this name here and it is working in real time. So this is a benefit here. So whenever we reload this, our state will totally change. So see that here login is there as it is not coming from the database. So that's why it is not coming from the backend. So that's why it is happening like this. So when I will click login here, see that our name is set here and this is here set user action. So but now let's see what will happen when I will click on logout. So when I will click on logout, now see that reset user, this action is dispatched and now our state is initial state. So this was the thing that we did in the previous video. And let's move to the coding section first. So here this is our coding section and we created one reducer here and this reducer we created see that this is first action is our action type is our set user and then is reset user. Our reducing a reducer is just matching the type and after that after matching the type it is uh, it is applying these things, this logic according to the case and type of the action. So if you want to see it in detail, please watch my previous videos first. From the first video, I explained it very well. So if you first, please clear the basics of means how it, why, I, what is reducer and what is Redux, then watch my video how to set up the Redux and after that how we can get and dispatch data with the help of connect. So here we use connect function here and see that here we have to do many things. We have to do so many line of codes here and we have to use connect function. So it takes little time also. And so now we will modify this code to use a hooks of the Redux. So let's see. So first of all, we will see how we can modify a map state to props to our hooks of the Redux so that we can get data from the hooks only. 
so let's start it so here i will do one thing so i will first of all apply this as null here so with that is logged in and is logged in and user we are not able, uh, so it is not it will not come in our props here as we are mentioning map state to props as null in the connect function so now let's modify this so we want this thing i'm going to cut it and let's paste it here and comment it let's comment it so here we have to get data so for that there is one hook that is use select a hook so that is help us to get the data so first of all let's see how we can get data one by one so first of all we will see that how we can get data one by one so first of all let's just check if the user is logged in or not so constant is uh, so here we will define is logged in and it we are defining it as a variable then it will equals to use selector hook so we will mention use selector hook and it will take parameter by default that is state parameter as we mention in our map state to props and then this simply arrow means you can uh, simply write this thing also and then you can write return here and you are returning the object but if you have to mention only one statement as e as 6 is there so this if you will define here like state dot auth so auth we don't want state dot is logged in as because we have only one state and is logged in is a key of e in a object here of the state so this means that we are returning our state is logged in from the state and now when i will console this console.log is logged in save it and now let's see here what we are getting so actually user is not defined so i'm going to refresh it so i have to comment that so see that i have to comment this for now so i'm going to comment this for now because user we haven't defined yet so see that when i will reload this now when i will reload reload this now we are getting data is logged in as false here so when i will click on login now we are instantly we are getting is logged in as true so same thing we are getting here now we can same do same like that and here we will mention user and then we will return user here and i'm going to do like this save it and now see that we are getting our user as well when i will click log out and it is functioning like same so now let's see how we can only use as it will take if we have many 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 states here we want so much data from the redux and so we have to define so many variables for that so now let's do one thing how we can combine these both so for that there is one thing you can simply create one return statement so this means return this parenthesis mean return and then we are returning the object here and simply first of all i am going to console this so what we are getting here and here i will write like we do in map state to props same thing we will do here but in the hook so here we will mention one thing that is is logged in so i am going to console it so console dot log this one and let's see what we are getting here so actually is logged in is not defined so i am going to command this all so i am going to command this all so now nothing is here so i am going to reload this again so see that what we are getting we are getting one object here as is logged in false and second thing we uh, second thing we can also mention so that will be user state dot user save it and now let's see what we are getting here so see that we are getting user as 
null here so now we can extract it from here so let's see how we can extract it so i'm going to remove it and let's see what we have to extract we have to extract two things first is is logged in and second user so i'm going to define the constant and we will use destruction here as it is an object so we will use object destruction and here we will write is logged in and then user so we are destructing this from use selector and then i'm going to uncomment this save it successfully and then now let's see now login is there so when i will click here see that same thing we are getting so we can now define it like as map state to props but it is like hook here so we don't have to mention so many props here and here one thing is also here that is sh a shallow equal so let's see what we are getting in shallow equal so see that shallow equal it is returning this so see that here but it is returning it is first will check object a and object b so it will tell if type of object a is not equals to object so if it is not an object here if object is null here so this will not return us the error any error so let's do one thing so here i'm going to write anything i'm going to write like google state dot auth dot google save it now let's see what we are getting here so see that we are going to get an error here so let me write here as shallow equal save it and now let's see what we are getting so actually this is not defined here so that's why it is getting like that so this shallow equal is just mean so see that when you will hover it so see that here what we are getting it compares two arbitrary values for shallow equality so object values are compared based on their keys that is they must have the same key for each key the value must be equal according to object so shallow equal means same value should be there so uh, the value that is in the object the so same value will be there here. see that here non object values are also compared with the same algorithm so this is just for the comparison so here if you will mention shallow equal it will be good for you so you can see its documentation here so let's see first of all see its redux documentations for that so this is a, a documentation here so see that here you will go to reactredux.js.org api hooks so here there is equality comparison this is about shallow equal here so see that whenever we will change the value so whenever we will apply action and change the value here so use selector value re-renders again so it will re-render all the values again but we don't want like this so we don't want to re-render it again and again so if you will mention shallow equal here so you see that it is written however when an action is dispatched to the redux store use selector only forces re a re-render if selector result appear to be different so if it is different here so if the value is different then only it will re-render so means it will re-render here so here see that it is uh, written here See that you can read this all thing for that. So you can write as shallow equal is an like an equality function here. So as it is also from the Redux too. So now let's move to the coding section again. You can read it here. So now we want some functions here. So for that it is very very easy. So it is very very easy so you have to define only one thing that will be dispatch so dispatch is equals to use dispatch and just you have to define this hook like you define any history hook and this use dispatch is also from the react redux 
now we don't want any con connect function and I'm going to remove this connect function from here so we don't want any con connect function now so now we think we need one thing that is we have to dispatch this so I'm going to just copy this so I'm going to cut it here so we don't need map dispatch to props and then I'm going to paste it here and we don't want now any props so here we can use this dispatch function to simply dispatch our things so here we will use simply like this dispatch here we have to log out the user sorry so here there will be set user so I'm going to paste like this and then in the payload I'm going to mention this object here so cut it and in this I'm going to mention this object and I'm going to remove this so we can simply use now dispatch here and same thing we can do for reset user so I'm going to cut it and instead of logout user I'm going to paste it so for this this is enough see that just this code we need only dispatching we want and after that here we can dispatch it our type reset user we can mention the type here we did not need payload payload and then dispatch set user then we this payload like this i'm going to save it and now let's see if we are getting any error see that we are not getting any error when i will click on login and see that it is simply dispatching our function and same thing is happening here log out this so you will more understand this in next video when we will create object so we are going to use only hooks in the projects here so as it is 2021 so now for today this is enough we learned that how we can use hooks here so now let's see in the next part what we are going to do so in next we will create contact app using react and redux with one reducer only so that what we saw in the previous five parts that we are going to implement this in this project here and we are only going to use hooks here as now it is 2021 so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in one section i will definitely respond to that so at last thanks for watching i will see you in the next tutorial please like subscribe and share this channel for more and more interesting videos